Welcome to Podcast Suck, a podcast about starting a podcast, where we dive headfirst into the wild, wacky, and sometimes frustrating world of podcasting. If you've ever sat down with a microphone, hit record and thought, what on earth am I doing? Or if you're just curious about the magic behind your favorite shows, then you're in the right place. Get ready for laughs, insights, and a whole lot of what not to do advice as we embark on this podcasting journey together. Let's dive in. What's happening, future podcaster or existing podcaster looking to up your podcasting game? My name is Sebastian Rosk, and welcome to the very first episode of Podcast Suck, a podcast about starting a podcast. I might add, starting and growing a podcast. For those of you not familiar with what I do and the kind of work that I get the opportunity to take part of on a daily basis, I started my agency back in 2016, which is the Podcast Launch Lab, out of complete desperation to want to niche down in the world of the vast world of digital marketing. And somebody called me one day and said, hey, can you help me start a podcast? And I thought to myself, actually, I can. I haven't been consistent with my podcast, but I definitely know what it takes to put together some cover art, figure out how to get your RSS feed submitted to Apple. At that time, that's all there was, just Apple. And I thought, yeah, you know what? I can. I can help you out. I immediately went back upstairs and mapped out what would become my life's work, what would become my next move as far as business is concerned, which was creating the Podcast Launch Lab, which is a turnkey podcast launch solution to take you from idea to iTunes in 90 days or less with our proven podcast launch solution. And friends, I'm here to tell you today, when you make your mind up about something and, you, and you're so committed to wanting to figure that out, just knowing that's exactly where you should be, well, there lies your passion. There lies the work that you were set on this beautiful planet to be able to do. And for the time being, and for the past seven plus years, that has been my zone of genius, if you will. My personal brand, I'm a speaker and comedian. I like to moonlight as a comedian, maybe cameo, if you will. And my core focus of my business and both of those components, my speaking business and comedy, they both work together and they also contribute to the ongoing success of the agency here at the Podcast Launch Lab. So not to take up too much time to tell you how cool I am, but I want to at least allow you to better understand who you're listening to. We always want to make sure that the people that we're taking advice from are actually people that have executed on something that we would like to, that we are doing. Make sure they built it first before you start listening to them is what I've learned. Too many people out there giving advice to people about things that they've never even done. But this podcast isn't about who to take advice from. This podcast is all about helping you better understand the power of podcasting, helping you better understand what's possible because you made a conscious decision to start a podcast. I'll tell you this right now. If you've been on the sidelines, you've been sitting the bench, if you will, about starting a podcast, someone is missing out because you're not showing up. Let me put it another way. In the form of a question, who's missing out because you're not showing up? Think about that for a minute. When we remove ourselves from the situation, because we're, we're very quick to say, well, I don't want to do that because I, instead of just starting to think, wait a second, if I don't do that, then, then what will happen? Who's going to miss out? When we reframe that question, podcasting has a lot to do with mindset. Mindset has a lot to do with podcasting. We're going to talk a lot about mindset. We're going to talk a lot about commitment. We're going to talk a lot about having core values and sticking to those values when it comes to being a personal brand or a business or a business brand or whatever you call yourself. Committing to the task at hand is important because there are people depending on you to complete that task. You may not think so, but even if it's just one person, if it's a stranger, whatever the case may be, they're missing out because you're not showing up. That makes me a taker. When I do that, I don't know about you. I don't want to be known as a taker. So as we kick things off on this incredible journey, this brand new show that I like to call Podcast Suck, 
a podcast about starting a podcast, I just want you to keep in mind that this is going to take a new mindset from you. This is going to take commitment. And this is going to take just some time, spend spend some time with that question. Who's missing out because I'm not showing up? Because that's really going to allow you to anchor yourself into why you're doing what you're doing. It'll get you excited. It'll get you motivated. It will keep you going when you don't want to continue to go because you know somebody else is in the mix. It's kind of like when you make plans to go somewhere. Oh, I'm going to go to yoga on Saturday morning. I never go. I always miss class. But when you call a friend, especially a friend that you want to see and hang out with, and you say, hey, let's go to yoga class on Saturday morning, you're now accountable to that other person. And when you cancel, guess what? They miss out. Not only did you not wake up and go to yoga class, they probably didn't go either. And guess what? It's all your fault. So this is all about mindset. This is all about commitment. This is all about following through with exactly what you say you're going to do. We're all guilty of it, myself included. But when we come, when we're aware of how we're showing up, we can make shifts. We can make adjustments. This show is going to help you understand every single thing that you need in order to start a podcast. I'm going to run through, I've got 13 or 14 different steps in our launch process that we utilize here at the Podcast Launch Lab. And then I've also put in my book, I teach on my YouTube channel. This is just another outlet to be able to get all up in your earbuds about the power of podcasting. You press play for a reason. You want to know what it takes to actually start and grow a podcast. Well, guess what, friends? You're in the right place. Why? Because my sole mission of this show is to help you better understand what you don't know that you don't know about the world of podcasting. There will very rarely be any episodes that are over, I would say, a maximum of 15 minutes. Why? Because when you pull up a new episode and it says nine minutes and 52 seconds, you go, you know what? I got nine minutes and 52 seconds. It's easy to consume. On these first 10 to 12 episodes that we're going to do here in the first few months of the podcast, I'm going to unpack my entire process. So episode two, we're going to dive right into the very first thing that you need to do when you decide you want to start a podcast. We're going to start talking about some mindset stuff. And again, we're going to rock and roll for between five and 15 minutes on any given episode. Quick to the point, but do me a favor. Maybe you're at the gym, maybe you're driving and you can't actually do this because, you know, safety first. But if you're sitting somewhere and you're consuming this podcast and listening to it, take notes, physical notes, like take a pen or a pencil, if that's how you roll, and a piece of paper out and just take some notes. Ideally, get a composition notebook. They sell at just about any store for a buck or two and write my podcast launch on the front of it and open it up and go through every step that I'm going to teach you and actually write it down. And then go back over it and review it. That's how we're able to consume things that we want to learn about. But when we write them down, something just, our brain just operates different. I'm not talking about your phone. I'm a big note taker on my phone. I understand that. But physically writing something down, we just, we're able to consume it differently. So make sure you're taking notes. Obviously, if you're driving or you're working out, you can't take notes. If you're working out, you probably can take notes, at least on your phone. If you're driving, don't do any of the above except listen and 10 and 2, please. Eyes on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Children of all ages. This is the greatest show on earth. <laughs> all right, so this is episode one. This is our inaugural episode. I just want to welcome everybody to the show, introduce myself, and help cast a vision for what the show is going to bring. I'm excited. You should be excited as well. Tell your friends about this podcast. Share this episode. Get it out because people constantly are asking around to friends and communities they're part of, whatever the case is, I want to start a podcast. You know who can help me? Yes. This guy, Sebastian Russ, started a podcast called Podcast Suck, a podcast about starting a podcast. He teaches you step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do and then talks about everything and all things podcasting on this show. That's what to expect from it in 15 minutes or less on each and every episode. Stay tuned for episode two. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode. We sure do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to the show wherever you consume podcasts. 
so we'll get updates as new episodes become available. If you feel so inclined, please leave us a review and share the show with someone you know should start a podcast or may already have one. And remember, podcasts suck if you don't have one. Until next time, friends. <laughs>